Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody? This is Coding Made Easy coming to you with another LibGDX tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be uh, just setting up um, everything, doing what we need to do to set up the, uh, the controllers. And then in the next tutorial we will actually look on to putting in some controller input and such. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Eclipse first. I don't know why I'm in IntelliJ right now. I'm going to show you how to do it in Eclipse first since that's the most popular IDE. And then we're going to be looking on how to do it with Eclipse right after. So they're pr pretty similar but um, I'll show you how to do them um, anyways. So what we want to do is we want to open up the latest nightly builds of, of libgdx or you can use the latest stable whichever one you'd like uh, and I will want you to go to the extensions folder and go to controllers now if you want you can copy over this controllers folder to whatever or copy the whole extensions folder it's up to you uh, but I made my own extensions folder and give me a second to get to it. Uh, so I'm in my own extensions folder and I have the extensions that I need I mean the the jar files that I need sorry so I want you to copy over uh, these jar files all of these and paste them in here and we want to go to the sources folder and take the uh, the GWT sources and the controller sources now we need the sources for the HTML input and the HTML doesn't work right now at well with my controller at least because I'm using a DualShock 4 and this was designed for the Ouya controller. So if your controller doesn't work, it um, they've never they haven't added in functionalities for other types of controllers yet. But I've gotten mine to work and any standard gamepad or even a 360 controller or something should work. If it doesn't, don't panic. They should be adding in functionality for that soon. Um, well once you've gotten those uh, set, we want to just uh, copy these by clicking Control or uh, C. And I made a libs folder, and I, inside that libs folder, I made an extensions, and in there, I've made a controllers folder, and I just pasted all of them in there uh, just for organization, um, organization purposes. Okay, so now once we've got them in there, now what we want to do is. I'll right click on our top project and I know you can't see it but we want to click properties at the bottom now we want to make sure that we were highlighted on we highlight Java build path and head over to libraries and say add jars so we're gonna go to our regular projects lib folder we are going to um, click the controller uh, the control extensions and we want to just add the GDX controllers dot jar okay and we're just gonna add that and voila it's there and we're just gonna click OK so next we're gonna go to the Android we're gonna click properties and in the libraries we are going to go to the same folder again and we are going to add the controllers and we're gonna add the Android and so just click control and then just click it and we'll it'll highlight both and voila both are there now we want to go to order uh, and export and make sure that these two are checked off in the Android version and make sure the original GDX controllers jar is above the the Android one and we want to go to desktop and we are going to do the uh, the exact same thing. So we're going to say the controllers. We have the desktop and the desktop natives. And we're going to go to order and export. And we just want to put this up. And last but not least for the HTML, even though it doesn't work, you should know how to set it up anyways. Um, we're going to say add jars. And we're going to add the GDS controller, uh, the controller sources, GWT and GWT sources. Okay, and let's move this up. And we're good to go. Um, so there's one last thing that we have to do with the HTML if we actually want it to work. Uh, so we have to uh, click on HTML. Uh, go to the sources and we want to click on uh, we want to locate the GWT definition 
and in here we want to uh, add an inherit uh, we want to inherit something we're going to say inherits name equals com dot bad logic dot gdx dot controllers dot controllers dash gwt and don't worry you don't have to memorize that just save it or you can always refer back to this video um but yeah you need to add that in there or else your controller input will not work so once we've done all that then the controller um, input is set so now just to test it out to see if it works what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, add a controller and just wait for this to flag it and yep so we've imported that and we want to just copy this paste it and just add an S so for controllers and we're just gonna go in the create uh, method and we're gonna oh we're gonna say controller is equal to controllers whoa why did it freeze get controllers dot first okay so that's just gonna get the first controller so if you have a controller hooked up so this is this is not doing error checking it's just saying if you have one hooked up it is the first controller so let's just get the first controller and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just say okay if controller dot get button and we're just gonna put one so if they're pressing down the button number one on your gamepad then we're just gonna say okay position dot x plus equals move speed times delta okay and that's just going to move our image towards the right. So whatever our button one is, it's just going to move it to the right. Simple enough, just to see if it actually works. So I have my DualShock 4 controller hooked up. And we're going to run as a Java application. And there's the, um, there's the game. And I'm just pressing the O key, which is button number one. And voila, the, the O button works on my PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, so the controller input works so uh, that's it for the tutorial if you guys um, are using Eclipse now if you guys are using IntelliJ I'll show you how to set it up using IntelliJ uh, pretty quickly so I'm pretty sure this libs folder is already set up yeah because the same project uh, but what you want to do is it's a bit it's not as long as a process as um, as the last project now make sure for the HTML uh, version the GWT that you have the same uh, the same inherit in the GWT you still need to do that but the difference is that you gotta right click on any project and click open module settings and um, oh I've already done it here but what we want to do is we want to um, click the plus uh, say jars or directories and we want to locate the same jars that we used in the Eclipse project and we put them in here um, and yeah so on Android make sure they're all checked off uh, in HTML make sure you have everything there I don't I didn't I didn't include the HTML version here and make sure you have the original controllers in here as well so um, now for the desktop version when you're importing for the desktop right when when you import the jar for the desktop natives you might get a uh, it might not export right it might not import when you do this one so you're gonna click plus again cl click it and it's gonna some dialog might come up and say what you want what do you want to do like what do you want to import it as I think by default it's highlighted as a class or whatever it doesn't matter just keep the default one and just click OK and it will um, import fine so for this one you just include the jar the regular jar file and we're good to go so uh, that's how you set it up and just to show you that it works hopefully it works <laughs> um, let's run this So I'm pressing the O uh, or circle button and it is working. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will actually look into actually implementing the controller input. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.